Hi, Barbies. Hi, Hi Barbie. Barbie. You are so Barbie. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh my Thank God. you so much. It's so yeah. sweet. I'll have it with a cup of coffee after this. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and hi, Barbies. Hi, hi Barbie. You are so Barbie. I feel I can be a character in this movie because I am the presenter for Mattel Manufacturer. Oh, no Fun fact for you. All the Barbies were made in Taiwan back in 70s and 80s. My oh, family wow. did that for Mattel. No oh, way. Gosh, yeah, so I feel I'm the character in this movie. <laughs> Wow, that's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, I got all the Barbies and Jew Barbies. So oh. it's more like a Carl Barbie who ends in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Oh my gosh, wow. that's amazing. If it's a spin off, oh, would you do this? The, what, horror... The, the horror version is like a house full of Barbies. Yeah, yeah. that sounds fun. There's many possibilities moving forward. So for this film, and you initially bought this to Warner Brothers in the first place. Hey, Barbie, can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. Why did you want to make this movie? Because obviously it's a big challenge. For 64 years, nobody wanted to touch it. I couldn't believe that it hadn't been made into a live action feature film mm -hmm. after 64 years of popularity and right. being at the center of the cultural conversation so many times over the decades. It mm -hmm. felt like you could really do something interesting with a Barbie movie if you right. made it with the right people. So thankfully Greta said yes, otherwise I don't know how we would have possibly have made a Barbie version that I'd be interested in producing or acting in, but I knew just knowing her to the extent that I, I did, and now that I know her really well, she does have a finger on the pulse of cultural conversation and things that feel relevant and kind of sparky today, and then she also has such a love of film history. It's so clear that I thought mm -hmm. this is someone who knows how to honor legacy. She would be respectful with the brand legacy, but at the right. same time would be able to have a culturally relevant conversation. So did you try to convince Greta to, to take a cameo in this movie like you did for John Cena? I, I think it's gonna be a movie that all audiences enjoy. I thought she was gonna play <laughs> our weird Barbie character. Um, <laughs> I always take knew. And then she to. was like, I can't, yeah. she's already wearing a lot of hats in this movie, directing, writing it, um, mm -hmm. so, so yeah. No, I mean, I did have an idea really early on. But it wasn't, it was like, we, we never even wrote it. Yeah. But I had this idea of like, just, <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was funny, but I was like, <laughs> just me and Margo together and just being like, we're both Barbie and someone's like, you're different. <laughs> and I'd be like, how? How so? We I both think have blood. We're hair. the same. <laughs> <laughs> like it just be like beside her. But I, I I I can't be in movies that I, I direct. It's it would be too stressful.